I look forward to um, finally somehow show my work in a visual context because that's where I come from and my work has always one medium where I work around which is also a handling about art sometimes like Mystery Magnet is a, about a painting that we built over one hour where you can backtrack all the actions in the final painting where we work towards and then in my solo I worked with sculptures extensions of the body and also there it refers to the history of sculpture like the painting piece is also referring to action painting and to all kinds of painting like what is painting in 2017 for example i choose to work with music as a material to make performance because i thought it was important i always hide myself in my performances and this last piece is more like open up to the audience so I think it's nice to see them in a row, also to see the development of the, of the, of the, the props and the sculptures and the images, but also to see the development of, of the energy. I think the difference is that the, con the context uh, and also the fact that, that there's a, a lot of work at the same time that we do. For the rest, uh, it's the same the same kind of feeling, <laughs> yeah. but I love this house, it's very nice always to perform here. I kind of try to leave my comfortable situation in Belgium artistically then and I wanted to just make a move and I moved here to kind of get to know how I work or what I need and and it was good for me to be on my own like in a really nice studio in Kreuzberg and um, I prepared Mystery Magnet there. I do think that you have to move sometimes to discomfort yourself and find another comfort which was then for me Berlin. In that sense Berlin was important for me. A lot of artists also here which I was also the reason to come here but also the reason to go away. <laughs> I don't really know my body that well, that I know that I can really go for five shows in a row and then three in one evening. So as a safety, I trained myself with a trainer, some boxing and some power training and some running. I, I'm 39, eh? so I have, to, uh, I have to make sure that I don't fall on the stage, like <laughs> over my age. <laughs> Apart from our retrospective with Mid Warlop, I really look forward to the Harun Faroki retrospective. Um, it's an artist whose work I, I like a lot, but I don't know so much of him. So actually I thought I should take a week holiday to only see the movies of Harun Faroki. And I would go to the different locations where it's find it taking place, also NBK, Savi and Arsenal. If I really take a break from working also, then I love to travel like, and, and to do something for myself. Like I did two times like a Thai boxing course in Thailand for like a small month. So then I really just spend it on, on myself, like health, sun, paradise. A lot of the times here in Hau, because I will um, accompany the work of Miet Warlop and then I hope to go to, to Farocchi and also to the um, Berlinische Galerie. Monica Bonvencini is also somebody I, I look forward to discover more uh, and in my office, unfortunately, during the day. Concentrating and also looking forward to our opening festival of the season. It's called Der Maulwurf macht weiter of Deutsch or The Mole Keeps on Digging. Apart from this mole figure, it is called after a show of uh, Philip Ken, a French visual artist also coming to the theatre. As a continuation of Art Week, it's, uh, it includes two visual artists that I estimate a lot, Alexandra Piric and Melanie Bonayo from Amsterdam. So you will find me from 26th of September until the 8th of October, I think, every day here at Hau Heblam Ufa.